But what's up? Welcome to today's video. I know my hair is messed up. I was just laying with my little Kybox right here. Anyways, I think I'm getting the computer like figured out. But today we're going to be doing a makeup therapy video. If you don't know what makeup therapy is, it's basically where I sit on camera and I do my makeup and we talk about some mental health and we just kind of get it out there. It's very therapeutic for me and I think it can be therapeutic for other people as well. Makeup really is such a giant part of my life. So I like to do stuff like this because it helps me. So whenever I'm feeling like just mentally down, I kind of do videos like this. And I was feeling mentally down because I have to accept the fact that my computer has died and I had to get a new one. And I do like the new one. I am using the new one now. I took it to this like five star rated on Google um, computer shop and they looked at it for a day and I was like, I need this back by tomorrow. And they told me by the end of the day, like, we recommend getting a new one. They helped me get a fi get financed to get a new computer. I've already made one payment on it. I'm planning to make a bigger payment next time. Hence the low buy. But I don't know how much makeup I'm going to be able to buy. However, I have, like, a minimal what I'm going to buy kind of thing. To kind of, like, keep my channel kind of, like, up and getting stuff. I'm also, like, thinking about doing a budget um, series here because I was even talking to my boyfriend about it. I think I want to keep the low buy going even after the computer is paid off. Maybe just a little bit because I don't know. I just kind of like I want to. I think my budget next week for extra spending money is 700 which is going to be nice because I actually think I'm going to get a ton of, I'm going to be able to get a ton of makeup. Like I'm going to do a Jeffree Star order and I'm going to be able to do a Martin Cosmetics order, Unearthly, and a Blend Bunny order and still pay like 200 on my computer, which is like my goal is to do like $200 because um, this, I use Snap Finance. Which I'll, if I remember to, I'll put it in the description box. If not, tell me and put it in the description box in case you're curious. Because I was able to get the computer with zero down, but I have to pay it off within 100 days of the purchase date or I end up paying the full lease amount. So the original amount was $755. That's with taxes and everything. I paid 70 on it, which was my first payment. Which, actually, I paid more than what the first payment was. The first payment was like 5811 and I paid 70 because that's what I wanted to do. Um, and my full lease amount is like $1,700. So that's like an interest rate of 120%. And I know that's kind of crazy because I've worked my butt off to build my credit, but I don't think that this snap financing is like, it's one of those, like, I think they help anybody because they want you to be able to, they want you to pay the full lease agreement. They don't want you to pay it off early, but unbeknownst to them, I was raised by makers. Um, no, my uncle, him, he's not my actual uncle. He's my dad's cousin, but I've always called him uncle. He helped me start my credit. He gave me so much advice. Um, you know, sent me a link to a credit card company and got my first credit card through them. He co-signed on it for me. My grandma also was a like banker before she retired for, I don't know if it was a big bank where you live, but it was a big bank down here. It was Waccamaw Bank. That's where my grandmother worked. She retired when they were bought out by Wells Fargo. We had an emergency and Bluey turned off, so we had to find something else to watch. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about like the low buy to be able to pay this computer off because I, for some reason, have had to purchase a new computer every year since Kai was born. Like this is legit my fourth computer. And I don't know if that's normal because like the first computer I had, I had from like 2015 to 2020. I actually think it died in 2021. 
So like I'm thinking five years is a normal lifespan for a laptop. But for some reason with me, the normal lifespan is a year. And I'm not sure why. I'm also really liking this eye gloss powder from Dr. Star Cosmetics so much so that I'm buying another one because I like this one. I have the Black Onyx one because I think I want to get the whole collection before I declutter them. And I want to test them all out side by side. But I don't like the Black Onyx one. It seems super dried out. I have to spray it to get it to work. But this one I don't have to spray, which is really weird. It is what it is. I'm pretty excited I'm getting packages tomorrow from my last big makeup order because like I said I'm going on a low buy which prompted me to be sad and depressed and went to film a my makeup therapy video. Oh buddy. Why how it's not working the way I want it to work. My love. I'm gonna take a break from my eyes, I think, and we're going to work a little on the face. I have products I am trying to use up. Kai, yes, I love you so, so much, buddy. You do not have to keep picking me. But I have some products I'm trying to use up, so there's that. I also have some other videos I'm planning to film today. I'm planning to take the kids to the park later. So we have one of those busy days ahead of us. Do you guys want to talk makeup for a second? I think I'm going to talk makeup for a second about what I want to purchase from Unearthly and Blend Bunny because like talking about makeup makes me happy and makes me feel better about not being able to buy it because like I'm thinking maybe I can buy it. I think that at the minimum I will be able to do the Jeffree Star order as well as the Martin Cosmetics order and maybe Unearthly, probably Unearthly. Unearthly isn't too too expensive. I always use code Heather at Blend Bunny and Unearthly in case you're curious but if my budget is 700 see I don't I plan ahead, but I don't really plan ahead. Like, whatever bills need to be paid are going to obviously get paid first before, you know, makeup comes in. So I usually don't know entirely. Like, I have an outline of what I'm going to be able to get, but I don't know entirely what I'm going to be able to purchase until the day of, like, payday, because that's when bills get paid and stuff. But I'm hoping, I'm sure I'm going to stay on budget this time. But after this, I'm really, really hoping to like not have to stay on budget. I'm really having to, hoping to like be under budget. Because a part of the low buy is obviously to pay off the computer because I really want to keep this credit line open. Because if you didn't realize, I break shit apparently. Computers and laptops are not paying with me. So the idea is pay this one off. Then buy a backup. That's the idea. And just continue to have a backup. I also want to get my dad a new computer because like they have actual like desktop computers. And I think that that's what I'm going to get him for Christmas. Because I already bought him a laptop, which Amazon should hopefully be giving me soon. But I already bought him a laptop because that's what he wanted. Um, my mom said that she wanted him out of her hair. So we got her or him a like pretty cheap laptop. It's like probably not a good, good brand, but all he really wants to do is connect it to Wi-Fi and play Solitaire. That's literally it. That's literally it. He just wants to read the news. Like, he doesn't need something super duper big and like powerful. Like I like HP. That's what I have as an HP. I was even thinking about next time getting a Chromebook. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Right now, I'm just focusing on this computer and I'm focusing on week one of my low buy. So, 
So what am I planning to purchase from Unearthly is the Not Normal palette. Now, I don't know about you guys, but does Unearthly's Not Normal palette look a little like Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny's new collab palette, um, the Nightshade palette? Like, honestly, I think Not Normal is like a toned down version of it. And I've never, I haven't heard anyone talking about that. So when I get those palettes in my hand, I really think I want to compare them because like I see similarities, but I don't think other people see the similarities. I think that the Not Normal palette from Blend, or from Unearthly is a toned down version of it. And I think that these two would be great companion palettes. I really, really do. And I can't believe no one else has noticed it because Not Normal is a yellow, green, and purple color story, but it's just muted. But the Doodles by the Bunny one is just very, it's very blooming in your face. Like I can tell because I am a very creative person. I like to stare at stuff. I can tell the looks that I want to do with the Doodles by the Bunny palette already just from looking at it. I know I'm going to do a green and yellow look and I know I'm going to do a purple smoky look. And I know exactly how they're going to turn out just from looking at them. Although I haven't tried the Gourmand Girls formula, which is one of the big reasons why I want to purchase these palettes, this palette. And I think I want to get the Spook palette and the Warriors Wear Pink palette. I really want to try the formula. I'm also planning to start filming some TikTok videos soon, like in a couple days. So I will be updating you guys in the description box in a couple of days about TikTok. If that happen. I have some videos kind of like planned and I'm hoping that they kind of go the way I'm wanting them to go, but it's life and life doesn't go how you plan. Um, I'm also planning a declutter in a few, like in a few days, <laughs> in a month or so, like a little over a month. I'm pretty excited about that. For those of you that don't know, I don't just declutter my makeup, whenever I do these, I also declutter a lot of my life. I go through videos and I watch all my pre-filmed videos and I decide, you know, what is good and what isn't good. And I get rid of a lot of videos that I just don't think meet my standards anymore. Or maybe I'll, I also go through my Instagram following and followers list and I'll clean that out because I might be following people that I was into for a little bit and I stopped being into them. Like for instance, Gordon Ramsay, I'm always into. I love watching his cooking. So he's like the one person that like is not makeup-y and stays on my iFollow list. Sorry, but it's true. Um, yeah, I need that contact actually. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows. I'm very excited for this to not be my brow routine anymore in a few days, so. Yay. I forgot to pull out a blush when I was pulling out the makeup I'm gonna use. So I pulled out a blush and let's go ahead and just like finish up this makeup look. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that um, unearthly order. I'm also gonna get Spell Binding, which is a low light highlight. I have fallen in love with these low light highlights. I don't know why but they're amazing and after that I will have all of them and the week after that I'm planning to get the little light highlighter palette because I absolutely love the formula. Um, what else? Um, I'm planning to get another lash from Unearthly. Unearthly has a lash set. Well, not a lash set, they have a collection. You have to get them individually. So I'm working on that. I've already purchased Supernatural, I think is what it's called, and Divinity. Supreme Being is the style that is in my cart now. So I'm working my little butt to get them all. I've even been researching some of their liquid lipsticks and a few of those colors look so nice to me that I think I might have to go and purchase them. at a later date. And I even think I'm going to pick up some of the pigments. I saw them in Allie Dawson's declutter. And I think I might have to pick up some of those pigments because they look really good too. And I love me a good pigment. I don't know 
why that's still out. Get back. Uh, I can't talk and do wing liner, so I'll be right back. Just a little bit about my blend bunny order. I am planning. I actually think I want to do an interview for my highlight, so let me do this. So blend bunny also have eyelashes and Unlike Unearthly, they actually have a set you can get. It's like $60 to get all eight lashes. They're called the Vices and Virtue Lashes, and I am going to buy all of them. I'm going to buy them all. Um, I love supporting Blend Bunny and Unearthly because they're indie brands, and they're cute. Looking. I have looked at Blend Bunny's lashes individually, and... Something tells me I'm not going to be the biggest fan of them. I like them because they look like they have a thick band and they also look long. Like not long where you can trim them, but like the lashes themselves look long. And I prefer a more shorter lash, so I'm still going to buy them and I'm going to try them. I currently have the Ardell Demi Wissy. I have a multi-pack of them in my makeup bag right now. And I'm going to buy another pack of them. I love Ardell's lashes. I'm actually planning to film a My Makeup Stash today, going through some mascaras. And I'm also going to show you guys my lash collection as well. Because even though it's small right now, I am purchasing more. And I have plans to purchase more. And I have plans to wear more. So I thought I should show you guys what I have right now as the collection itself is growing. And I'm planning to go to Walmart today and probably pick up some makeup because it's, come on, it's me. Me, I, I live off of makeup. It's me. Uh, I'm going to use blush here. And also, Blend Bunny, I'm going to get the Noctilucent highlighter palette. I've said it before, I'm obsessed with highlighter. Can't help that. And I'm also thinking about getting the all done up palette. I'm gonna use Glam Light's Frosted Flake Highlighter. This is the loose highlighter. I love this. It ranked number one in my highlighter ranking. I don't know if that video is up yet, but I do need to do a new version of it because I have a highlighter from Unearthly, the low light highlighter in Twilight, to be specific, that notched Jeffree Star's Supreme Frost um, in Wet Dream out of third place. I think it was third place. It might have been fourth place. I can't remember. But this is actually the highlight I have decided to wear all month long because I'm trying to use up my makeup on this low bod. I'm going to obviously be getting makeup, but I'm also going to be trying to use up as much makeup as I can because I think that would be good for my mental health, honestly. to just use what I have and love it because I love this highlighter. I feel so pretty whenever I wear it, so why not wear it more? So it's testing out this hard candy gloss trophy, by the way. This added a little bit of color because I have some lipstick left over from yesterday still on it, so that's where that came from. And some just the star setting, star wedding setting spray. Trying not to spray Kai. Did you get sprayed, buddy? You silly bunches. You just want to look cute for the camera because you're just a little head wrapped in a Mickey blanket. Alright, so. I think that is it for this video. I'm not the biggest fan of the eye look, honestly. I feel like the mattes could have been better from this palette. This is a flower beauty palette. I don't even know if they still make this anymore. But like I said, I'm trying to use up what is in my collection. But I do feel I do feel pretty. Ooh, Natasha didn't know that Samantha. Um anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, so please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All the social media great stuff. I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, wave and bye. You say bye-bye?